I realize that I'm, I'm one of the last talks uh, that stands between you and, and getting out of here. Um, I, but I hope you're having a great afternoon, uh, an early evening. I, it's terrible that it's already so dark. But there you go. It's not nighttime yet. It's still afternoon. So please stay with us for a little bit longer. Uh, just me and then Evan will uh, conclude. Uh, what I wanted to do here is give you a little uh, summary, a little overview of the NFCO hackathon that took place um, for the first two days uh, this week. Uh, so that would be Tuesday and Wednesday. Time kind of blurs together when you have one of these events. Um, but the hackathon was a day and a half of getting together with people in the community uh, to hack together on various projects. And so what I want to do is not give you like a comprehensive list of everything that got done, because a lot got done, but kind of give you a sense of the flavor of the kind of things we do at hackathons and hopefully make you want to join us uh, for the next one. All right, so a group of about uh, 50 people got together. Um, there were 40 people from the community uh, at large and 10 people from uh, Sakara, including myself, of course. Um, and basically the way we organize these, uh, we, we kind of self-organized into uh, a few groups. In this case, we had uh, five different uh, themed groups. There's no, it's not like a hackathon where there's a contest or any kind of pressure, uh, anything like that. Uh, the idea is really to just get together and work together um, and also socialize. Uh, so we organized around uh, four technical themes for this one. Uh, plus a meta group uh, of beginners, um, and each one is kind of led by one or more people uh, from kind of the NF core community. And so I'm going to walk you through kind of what each group uh, worked on. Uh, my group, the beginners group, um, I, I want to qualify, when I say beginners, we had a handful of people, most of them were already quite proficient with NextFlow, they'd been working uh, with NextFlow for some of them for a couple of years, for a few years, um, but they were new to NF Core. And one of the major themes that, if, that kind of emerged there of what people wanted to do was uh, get to understand better what, what the NF Core resources are and how to integrate them into their own work. Um, especially NF Core pipeline templates, which uh, garner a lot of interest, but are not necessarily easy to get to work with on first approach. Uh, there's a bit of gaps in documentation and things like that. So one of the things we did was just kind of figure out what's, um, what the gaps are and, and the kind of things that we need to work on together um, to make those resources even more useful and widely used. Um, some people did do actual work uh, in the sense that we have a few people who uh, worked through some training materials and tested features to see kind of what the expected behaviors are. Um, uh, a couple of people actually worked on a new module and submitted a pull request for a new module, which I think is really cool. Uh, uh, we had one person who was, uh, one or two, who were complete beginners in the sense of uh, uh, had not worked with NextFlow before, and there it's like, just setting up your laptop and, and getting to know the tooling and stuff like that. Um, so what I'm really happy about is that by the end of the day, um, all of them felt comfortable joining uh, one of the other groups for the next day. And so on the next day, I, did, I, I didn't have to lead a group, <laughs> which was great. But it was really cool to see that they, they effectively joined the community in uh, working on uh, NF Core resources. So well done to all of them, I'm very proud. Okay, so uh, second group I wanna talk, to, uh, talk about briefly is the NF test group. So if you're not familiar with NF test, or you've heard about it a bunch of times already, but just in case, um, it is a testing framework uh, for NextFlow pipelines. It's uh, developed by an independent group, but it's really neat and it makes it really easy to have robust testing of uh, NextFlow modules and pipelines. It's not specific to NF Core, um, but there is an effort going on within NF Core to um, apply NF test to modules and uh, pipelines that are stewarded uh, by the NF Core community. Um, and so uh, this group um, worked on just taking existing pipelines and adding, uh, just adding NF tests uh, to them. And so I think within the course of the hackathon, they got 15 uh, done, and that take, gets us to 
over half of the pipelines in NF Core are now uh, have NF test, use NF test for the testing, which is really good. And we look forward to continuing that work kind of um, on an ongoing basis. Uh, pipelines, the pipelines group, um, again, I'm not going to give you a, a full breakdown, but they're all, they're up kind of for your information. Um, the kinds of things people did in the pipelines group, one is just talk about some pipelines that have been proposed and kind of get a sense of what the interest is, who would work on them, and so on, what they would look like. Um, some people uh, got together to work on existing pipelines, uh, works in progress that are in various stages, including things like trying to get it to work, making it NF core compatible, things like that, uh, continuous improvements. There's kind of a variety of things that you can do. Um, and this kind of reflects the, the variety of, of work that's in progress right now. Um, uh, also, <laughs> it's, it's definitely a constant theme, it's adding tests to uh, existing pipelines. So you'll see there's overlaps in the concerns between the groups. Um, adding more tests to more pipelines. Um, a few people also did some work on custom pipelines that are not part of the NF Core corpus, but um, utilize some of those uh, NF Core resources, best practices, and so on. Modules. Uh, modules are components of pipelines, of workflows. Um, you can think of them, a single module is basically, typically a wrapper around a single process. And the idea is to have a library of modules, a, a, a library of tools that are commonly used in a community so that if, let's say, I'm developing my own pipeline and I want to stick, let's say, GATK haplotype caller in there, uh, I don't have to write a new module. I can just use one that exists. Of course, you might tell me, if I'm making a pipeline with haplotype caller, why am I not just using SARIC? I don't know where Maxime is, but <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the that's the kind of thing that it's for, right? Uh, and there, there's a bunch of new modules that got added, which is always great. Um, again, a subset of people uh, took existing modules and added NF tests to them. I'm not sure if we're double counting or if that was just done independently. I should caveat that the content for these slides is largely crowdsourced by the groups themselves. I take no responsibility whatsoever. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but none for the, the GIFs. Um, I will take responsibility for saying GIF and not GIF though. It's a very strong uh, opinion there. All right, another thing uh, that got done, somebody added a new sub workflow. If you're not familiar with that, a sub workflow is like something intermediate in between a module and a workflow. So it's like a, a, a piece of workflow that can be used kind of in the modular way, but it's more than just a module. The definitions are a little bit fuzzy uh, for kind of obvious reasons, but it's a piece of workflow, let's say. Um, and new test data. You can't have tests without test data. So uh, adding new test data is always a very um, useful thing. The ops team uh, self-describes, they told me to spell it this way, uh, this is a team whose efforts aim to automate a lot of the things that need to happen in terms of, um, there's, you know, NF Core has multiple resources. There's Slack, there's GitHub, there's websites that is built from GitHub. There's, there's a, a number of infrastructure components, um, and one of the goals of the team is to uh, uh, get these things to talk to each other and have as much as possible automated and not done manually uh, with the goal of overall breaking fewer things by accident, uh, which I don't know what that means about their intent to break things on purpose, but at least avoiding the accidents is a good idea. Um, so that's what they're about. Uh, I'm a little bit fuzzy on what they did during the hackathon, to be entirely honest. Uh, you can ask Edmund, he knows everything. Um, but uh, my understanding is that they didn't break anything, so well done there. Uh, okay, and finally, so that's the, the work that got done. Um, about halfway through, uh, in the, uh, with the goal of uh, relaxing a bit and, and socializing a little, uh, we had a quiz. So this is traditional in the NF Core Hackathon. Halfway through, we have a quiz. Um, uh, hosted on Kahoot, there's a thing you vote. 
I, I, I won the quiz, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want a rubber ducky and a really cool gold sticker for my laptop. Um, I, I, I say this because uh, some of you know, I joined Sakara just five weeks ago. This is literally week five for me uh, being on the job, which is very exciting. It's been uh, <laughs> a bit of a whirlwind. Um, and I joined specifically the week of the hackathon and summit in Barcelona. And at the hackathon in Barcelona, I did the quiz, and I was, I was not dead last, but I was like in the last five or something like that, the, the point where you don't count anymore. Um, and I knew practically nothing. And I had not, never touched Nextflow before getting hired to Sakara, by the way. Um, I admit it freely. I came from Whittle. Um, I'm learning a lot. It's really great. Uh, and what I want to say here is that in just four and a half weeks, um, I learned a lot. I learned a huge amount obviously, since you know, I won. <laughs> um, but there, it's like, part of it is questions about technical stuff, part of it is questions about the community, and I learned so much because so many people in the community have helped me, helped me on board on the technical stuff, helped me kind of understand how this community works, and it's a very active, very dynamic community, and it's just been extremely energizing. And so I just wanna say thank you to everybody who has been so helpful so far, um, because this, this ducky really is yours. <laughs> thank you. And so thank you to everyone who came and participated in the hackathon. Also thank you to everyone who came to the summit. Evan is the one who's going to do the, the big wrap up for everything, but I wanna say thank you so much for all showing up and being very active and just incredibly welcoming and friendly. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Geraldine. Stay up here for one second, we got questions. Um, I really do appreciate that quote of breaking less things by accident. <laughs> I think I'll take that as a motto in the future. Um, one question for you. What are the Whittle Chromo features that you think that are missing in the next flow? Oh, <laughs> how much time do we have? <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not like there's a lot, but I have a lot to say about like one or two things. No, um, there, there's, there's a few things. We, we should talk about that another time, maybe over drinks. Um, but there's, there's a few things I think that where, where workflow language communities can learn from each other. Um, and I look forward to having some interesting conversations. I've already had some really interesting spirited conversations with some of, of the members, and I think there's a real willingness to, to kind of learn from each other and see, because ultimately we're all trying to do the same thing. We're trying to help researchers get their work done faster and with less hassle. Um, and so this is, this is uh, an area where I see it as very much a, a collaborative effort and not a, not a competition. So um, anybody who wants to talk about that, I would love to, um, anytime. Let's applaud Geraldine again for winning the quiz. Thank you.